Hi guys, Karen here. So today we're going to plant my cut flower garden. Um, so I have all of the things, you can see them over, you can see them right there. And so I'm planting in front of our, um, it's a mother-in-law suite, but my husband uses it as his man cave. You know how that goes. Anyway, so <clears throat> today I'm going to plant the cut flower garden and I'm probably not going to cut flowers out of it this year. I'm just going to let it grow so that next year it'll be really big and yeah, I need to get started. You probably saw that in the background. Anyway, so uh, this is my first time doing it. I have a pattern that I'm going to show you all that, um, that I want to set it up in. So let's get started. So just an update. So these are some old chairs that we had in the backyard and I just added these beautiful hydrangeas over here and I forgot what this is uh, let's see oops um, hmm. calla lilies sorry about that and I'm gonna add four lilac um, some salvia down there um, whoops this fell over And I'm going to add the four hydrangeas to the back. And I also am going to add these um, daisies for front cover uh, in the front. And I have some geraniums. Haven't decided where they're going to go yet, but let's get started. So here's the bed right here. So I'm just going to put them where I want everything to go. So this is basically the setup that I want to have. Um, so you know the hydrangeas are going to go grow into a nice big bush. I have the lilac in front um, and the daisies. And if there's, I'm just going to leave space and whatnot for them to be able to spread out. So I'm just going to. last shot before I put it into the ground oh and if you hear my husband he's building the raised beds for our tomato cucumber patch so I'm gonna get I'm gonna put all of this in okay guys so this is the finished product he's cutting wood right now if you can't hear me sorry so I put the daisies in the front this is salvia those are these plants here are lilac and hydrangeas going along the back and I have the hydrangeas here um, in uh, clay pots and then I have the canna lily uh, yeah so that oh and oops, geraniums this little area over here <laughs> forgive the chairs I have to clean them today uh, but the daffodils and then they have um, tulips at the bottom so everything looks like it's growing pretty well and that's our cauliflower and the hydrangeas took so I'm grateful for that um, the spinach looks like it's growing it, it's spreading more all of the radish are up now and that's a transplanted um, oregano plant the calendula is coming up here um, more spinach here than the the spinach that I planted from seed that's coming up and then now you can see the little Swiss chard coming up and this is broccoli and the carrots are doing really well back there I think <laughs> and over here more Swiss chard carrots um, zinnia there and broccoli
haven't figured out what to put back here yet. I'm trying to watch it to see how much sun it gets throughout the day. It's doing pretty well. Maybe some sunflowers in the back of it. But this is these are old chairs too that I need to wash. But I thought it looked really nice here. Nice little um, seating area. 